This episode of What's Poppin' PBC is a Black History celebration. First, I host the annual Ascension Awards. Then we pop up at the Black Lux event. It's healthy cooking competition at the Riviera Beach Marina. Then we saw 12 great men awarded with a month. Don't miss this episode. Whether you travel from near or far, you want to be treated like a star. Pop star. Pop star. We have everything in PBC. If you're single or coming with your family. Let's go. We have water slides on yacht rides. Ooh. Entertainment for the day or for the night live. Oh. Can't forget all the hotels and restaurants, especially with the water. Let's line. go. Let's go on some shopping sprees. Come with us. We're going to show you all the must -lees. Let's go. Take you places that you can't believe. What's poppin' PBC? What's poppin'? What's poppin' PBC? What's poppin'? What's poppin' PBC? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey! What's Convention Center is a place where many events are held in the county. And tonight, the Black Chamber of Palm Beach County is hosting their annual Ascension Awards, where the best black businesses are celebrated. It's an exciting night for the nominees, and I'm excited too because I am hosting. Let's meet a few people who are behind this amazing event. I am so excited to be hosting the 11th annual Ascension Awards hosted by the Black Chamber of Commerce for Palm Beach County. And I'm even more excited to be with the past president. I hate to say that because I know you, <laughs> you had a great run. You've done a lot for the community. But just can you let us know why it's so important for these events to happen? Right, here? so I've been in Palm Beach since 2008. And I can say unequivocally that this is the best assembly of black owned business and talent anywhere in the county. And yes. I've, I've been in a lot of events and you have the most talented, successful business owners here tonight. And the Black Chamber, we're in the business of celebrating excellence and we believe that if no one else will recognize it, we know that we will recognize uh, one another. Yes. And one of the things that I've been so delighted about, Kitty, is that I've been told by business owners that after they were featured here, wow. they, their business exploded. Nice. Because more people knew about their business, and that's an opportunity to be showcased within the community. So we're very, very pleased about this event. We just heard from the past president of the Black Chamber of Palm Beach County. Now I am speaking to the current president. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How excited are you about tonight's event? I am tremendously excited because we get to celebrate the best in business in Palm Beach County. Um, these are um, small black businesses, larger businesses, uh, supporters of black owned businesses. And this is the opportunity for us to showcase them. Um, I'm big on black excellence and this is an opportunity to highlight that tonight. And one question, so if you have not made it here tonight, I know you're gonna have a 12th. Yeah. What would you tell the people that they need to be in this building? I, I would say that. <laughs> yes, uh, the folks who, who are aspiring to be just like these individuals we're gonna be celebrating tonight, um, just keep at it. I know it's tough. Um, you have to keep your nose to the grind, grindstone, but form those relationships, join the Black Chamber. We can help network you with other people and they can help you get to the next level. filled with some of the most influential people who have a positive impact in our community. Behind every great event is a great woman who plans it, duh. And I am standing next to the beautiful Keely, who is, I would say, the brainchild, the person that does it all. I mean, this is the 11th, but they're gonna be 12 and 13. So tell us, what keeps you going? Oh my goodness, you know what? It's the nominees. 
uh, when we get their submissions early in the fall, just reading their stories and seeing all the work that they're doing professionally here in Palm Beach County and also within the community. So we honor their uh, leadership for, for professional and their community service. So that's what keeps me fueled and seeing all those new businesses that are coming into Palm Beach County. So, And you have a great team, I know. I want to make oh, sure. Yes. You give yes. them their kudos to Absolutely. We have a great team of about 11, and some of them have been with us since day one, wow. 11 years. And then we've got some new ones that just came on board. So they, they do all of this. So okay. um, And we get along great. So it's, it's a team effort, absolutely. Well, we are going to see the effort that yes. has been put in place uh, later. And I just am excited. And I'm your host. So catch me later uh, in front of everybody that you'll see here in Palm Beach County. The best business here at the 11th Annual Ascension Awards. Did someone say picnic baskets, music, and expensive cars? We are at the Black Lux event next. With crime at an all-time high, it's obvious that criminals don't rest. And at Sigma Security and Investigative Solutions, we don't either. We offer our customers 24-hour surveillance and security that offers them a peace of mind. We also offer event security, personal security, and investigative services. Our client's safety is our number one priority. My team and I look forward to protecting you, your family, and your business. We're on duty so the criminals won't be. As exquisite as art in a museum. Whether indulging in the sights and tastes of street eats. Or experiencing the luxury of five-star cuisine. The goal is the same. To take you on a savory journey. Experience world-class culinary in the perfect place. Discover the palmbeaches.com. Hey, this is Kenny London, and welcome to another edition of What's Poppin' PBC. I told you I would be bringing you the best of the best amenities here in Palm Beach County. Today, we are checking out one of the best parks that I heard that you can come to, and it's in Boca Raton, Florida. We are checking out the Black Lux event, where I hear we're gonna see art displays, picnic baskets, the best of the best vendors, and catch some entertainment. So come and follow us while I take you on a tour of Sunset Cove Park and also the Black Lux event here on What's Poppin' PBC. This beautiful Sunset Cove Amphitheater in Boca Raton near the water was a perfect setting for luxury picnic settings. I caught up with some attendees and one of the creators to see how they were feeling about the vibe. I am sitting next to the beautiful Charmaine, who is, I would call one of the brain children behind uh, this wonderful weekend here in Boca Raton. So, so let us know, Charmaine, what was the reason that you came up with such a wonderful event that was so impactful for our culture? The reason we wanted to cultivate this space and provide this atmosphere for our community to actually come together in unity, peace, to come together with a diverse group of people so that we all can be as one. Right. Now, the last time I had a picnic was never, right? Because I don't do the outdoors, obviously. But you see the hair is blowing in the wind and we have this outside AC. But what was the reason for the picnic portion, for people to come around and gather and eat and greet each other? Because that's what family is about. Okay. Family is all about getting together, coming together, enjoying each other. And we're also given the opportunity for everyone to just be in a space that is earthly and is, is just a nice vibe and a nice feel. PBC, I had to pop up on the dopest vendor spot. You have a very big brand out here, sir. Yes, uh, what we do right now, this is Rolling Sticks Mobile Cigar Lounge. Okay. So what we do is we provide the service of anybody who's a cigar enthusiast, we come to you. 
So if you're having a backyard boogie, you know, you're having a private party, we come to you, you know, we, we, we have the lounges, we have the cigars. You see, we have our own brand, our favorite, the barber pole. So, we, you know, we just, we just try to enjoy, give everybody that, that sense of like, hey, this is what we do. This, this is black ownership here, me and my wife. So we're obviously, I said in Boca Raton, yes. we at the, the Cove Amphitheater, yes. and you are just doing your thing. Yes. So tell us really quick, how can we reach you? And also too, what was the, the, the thing? Do you like to smoke? Is, it, is this the reason? Or what? Okay, you do, okay. Well, yeah, of course, um, I got caught up in the whole cigar thing. Uh, I used to ride motorcycles, heavy. Okay. So as, you know, we do the different tours, the different rides, you know, you always stop and get you like a nice cigar. And I love that. So, and then it's like, when well, me and my wife, we were talking about it one day with some of her in-laws. And it was like, you know what? What if we had a mobile cigar lounge? And everybody's just looking at me like, wait, that's the thing? I'm like, I think so. <laughs> now this is a yearly event. Absolutely. So you pick different parks around Palm Beach County. Last year you were at Boynton Beach and now you're in Boca Raton. So what was that reason? Because I want to know, you you upgraded as far as the size and space now. It's huge out here. That was the exact reason. Okay. The demand was high for the event and we wanted, you know, we were at the Boynton Beach Amphitheater last year. Yes. And this year we wanted to ensure that we had enough space to provide you with enough, a, a different ambiance and a different experience. So it's an experience so that's why we chose this location look at sunset cove amphitheater the nice water you have plenty of space our vendors are not on top of each other it's the perfect space for all that we have to offer here at the black lux music festival with all these sweets i've been eating lately i need some help healthy food here i come Vibrant murals ornament city walls. A vast array of paintings and portraits adorn galleries and museums. Expressive voices and rhythmic footsteps fill a theater to its rafters. And festivals that bring it all together for a one-of-a-kind experience. Discover Florida's cultural capital at thepalmbeaches.com. Hashtag Palm Beach Culture golden rays of light to start the day. Towering palm trees sway with the breeze. Dive into the serene ocean and relax under the warm sun, a paradise where the hours melt away. Welcome to our world-class beaches, the perfect place for you. Discover thepalmbeaches.com. When two local celebrity chefs and two elected officials come together, it's a war, a food war. As you see, I'm not the only one dressed for war. Here I have State Representative Tay Edmonds and also the celebrity chef himself, Boris Seymour. Guys, welcome. Please tell me what this food versus Chef Versus is all about. First of all, Katie, thank you so much for having us. This is our first ever Chef Versus. This is about food, family, and of course, friendly competition, but we brought the best of the best together. We got Trinette and we got Chef Boris, and this is hosted by me and Katrina Long Robinson. And what we wanna do is not only have a great competition, but teach people how to eat a healthy lifestyle. And those who do it the best, that's why we brought them here today. And I'm gonna let you hear it from the best itself, Chef Boris. Hey, how you guys doing, Katie? Thank Thank you for doing this again. Thank you for highlighting what's going on in the county. This is very important. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you for tuning in. And we ask that you support Kitty and what she do in this brand new show. We're here today for the Versus event. I'm Chef Boris Seymour. I'm the executive chef and owner of BDS Catering Productions LLC located here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And so we're here today to promote good eating, healthy eating, clean 
eating. And so we're going to take this thing home. I got my number one host, accountability partner, cheerleader, fan, yes. friend, all of them. everything all at once. So we're here to represent for Palm Beach County. We're going to win this thing. The guys go take it home, baby. Now, Chef Boris, can you just give me just an example of some of the things that we'll see from you today? So today I'm going to be doing a soup, salad, and an appetizer. Okay. So one of the, the soups that we're doing, we're doing the meat option and we're doing the non-meat option. So one is a super green chicken soup. One has chicken, one doesn't. But they're packed and loaded with vegetables and nutrients and just all that good. I put both my toes and my elbows in it. So <laughs> right, right. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to say the rest for them and now. I know we're on What's Poppin' PBC, but I hear there's another sauce that's popping, hopefully national. So tell us about what you're holding in your yeah, hand. So I have my two our brand new sauce line is now available. I have a buffalo chicken sauce, and then I have a garlic hot sauce. And the name of the sauce is Georgia Maze. Uh, I have a restaurant concept. I just got my lease from a restaurant. So we're looking to have a grand opening May the 1st. So y'all stay tuned for that. But I named Georgia Maze. This is my grandmother on the bottle. That's a picture. We took an old picture and created the logo out of it. So if you want to order some sauce from me, give me a call. We're working on uploading the website right now to get the shipping. Shipping is a hassle. Man. I don't know if you guys ever tried to ship some, but it's crazy. But you still can order. We can deliver it or you can pick it up. So you can contact us at 561-543-9787 or you can shoot us a quick email at info, I-N-F-O at B-D-S that's Boy David Superman Caters dot com. Well, I have here in the pan here that I got some garlic, some oil, some rosemary, thyme, or something here. Okay, so I'm going to take some of that and put that in the State Representative Tate Edmonds and I wanted to do something for the community. It's something that we normally do every year, bringing people together. But this year, we wanted to bring something innovative to Palm Beach County and host our first annual versus battle with chefs, but DJs included. So we're super, super excited. We have a plot twist that we're going to be announcing that the four of us came together and wanted to do collectively because we do know it's about community and collaboration. So this is something that's fun, innovative. But I want to pick the winning person, oh. Trinette, on my team. Oh. Uh, we're business partners and do a lot of things together, but mm -hmm. my, my show going to win, hands down. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So, so give us a little bit about what we can experience from you today. So, um, you know, I wanted people to not be surprised by anything that I'm doing today. So it's going to be classic trendy and it's going to be trendy with a twist. It's going to be trendy. That's just what it is. I got to live up to the name and it's also going to be gourmet as well. But more importantly, it's going to be healthy. So everything that I'm doing can be duplicated, replicated at home very easily. You're going to see a lot of color. Um, people are going to, I think, I'm almost positive, people are going to see ingredients used in ways that they are going to be shocked by. Um, um, I got some Asian uh, fusion happening, so so I wanted to bring in some other genres so that people aren't bored when they're eating healthy because I think that's what happens a lot. People get really, really bored eating healthy and so eating healthy can be fun. Uh, so I'm going to introduce some raw vegan. I've been doing raw vegan every Monday, so I'm going to be introducing some of those items. Like I said, I'm going to bring some of that classic trendy um, to the table, so, something that people are always begging for, but I'm going to show them how to do it in a healthy way. And and then um, some comfort food mm. that's healthy, tastes like it probably has a whole lot of fat, and, but it doesn't. So whether they're self-proclaimed winners or not, we'll find out later. But ladies, good luck. Good luck to everyone. And I'm just happy to be here. So we are going to see some more from the chefs. And uh, you got to just follow us and check us out. We'll see you soon again. This event was created to educate the community on ways to eat healthier. And it was actually good food. 72 to 71. <laughs>up next there are 12 months on a calendar and now 12 men have their name assigned to each month discover a place away from everything you've ever known and all you have to do is open your mind take a deep breath and let yourself go venture into a world that's been here long before any of us. Each reef, wreck, and trench is unique, where life is extraordinary and endless. Discover what's below the surface at thepalmbeaches.com. This is Kitty London, host of What's Poppin' PBC. Listen, our show doesn't just cover good food, good entertainment, and great events. We also cover great people here in Palm Beach County. I hear there's a few good men inside the PGA National Resort today, and I'm going to find out. Well, actually, it's more than three. It's 12 recipients who are being honored today. I cannot wait to interview them to see why they are nominated for such a prestigious award. one of the recipients and I just want to say first of all congratulations how does it feel oh it's amazing man it's rewarding to be recognized for what you're doing man so I'm, I'm grateful to be here well I looked you up your name is Troy Patrick you are a local realtor as well yes ma'am what was your month that you got congratulated for I was May okay Mr. May yes. so you're gonna walk around all year saying you're Mr. May <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm proud man it was a great event you know great experience and she did a, a job well done on this so it was a great opportunity to recognize 12 black men in the community who are doing well, who have been the example in their industry, their business, their life, in their community and in their home. So it was, it was a wonderful experience. I am with another recipient. Hello, Mr. Ricky Petty. Hello, Miss Kitty. Hey, I read your bio. I am so impressed. And you are Mr. December. Yes, I am. So you got all year to celebrate, yes. technically speaking. Yes. So how does it feel to be a recipient? Well, it feels really great being a recipient, sharing the stage with many other distinguished young men that are doing some amazing, positive things in our community. So it was great.
this next gentleman needs no introduction. I'm seeing him on commercials, movies. Oh my gosh, I am just so happy to be in front of Mr. Javon White, actor, producer, photographer. I mean, just everything. So how does it feel to be a, a nominee, a recipient of Project 12? I mean, it feels, it feels wonderful like to be chosen, you know, because you guys just found out who you guys thought was doing things in the, mm -hmm. in the community. So to be recognized and not have to put a bid in that, that speaks volume. So I'm happy. It feels great. And what month were you? A um, month of July. What's hotter than July? It's nothing because that's my birthday month. There's nothing hotter than July. Oh, okay. That, that, I think that was kind of strategic. That yeah. was planned. Yeah. Because okay, nothing gets hotter than July. Yeah, yeah. So again, you're, you're nominated. You're going to have so many awards. I cannot wait. I'm glad I got you now <laughs> when you are still accessible because you're on movie roles. You're doing this. You're doing that. But once again, you know, for people here that are looking around the world, when they see Palm Beach County, this is what is homegrown here. Yeah. What do you tell people about the positivity that we have here in Palm Beach County? I, that is here, okay. first of all, like regardless of whatever narrative that's been put out there, mm -hmm. it's really some people that's doing some great things, you know, and I'm proof of it. is an even more powerful woman. I am sitting next to, I would call the brainchild, the person who thought about all, who dreamt this whole event up, the beautiful Shanitria Moore. Hi. What's poppin' BBC? Are you, how are you still awake? I know, really, since I went to bed at 4.30 and I was here at 9.30. I mean, not only did you think <laughs> about all this, she was like the MC and everything. Wonderful event, I'm gonna salute you. I know, you know, you have an army background, right? So am I saluting the right way? Yeah. You got it. Okay, That's good enough. I'm salute you, enough. my sister today. Thank you. I appreciate it. So let me just thank you. thank you. So real quick, how did you come up with all this and why is it so important for the community? Well, I was actually in Bible study in mm -hmm. Fort Lauderdale and I saw, you know how you have the movie credits at the mm -hmm. end of the movie? I saw and then there were 12. Oh, wow. And God said, I want you to do a calendar incorporating all men from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Not just men that are making six figures or second, seven figures, mm -hmm. but those who are good fathers who are good husbands, the coaches, the educators, as well as the physicians, as well as the CEOs. Mm -hmm. They all have a uh, part in completing what we need overall mm -hmm. to reach the masses. Sometimes you may not be able to go to Little Johnny's game, but that coach is instilling the right things in Little Johnny. Mm -hmm. So we need to acknowledge him as well as the CEO, the business owner, the entrepreneur, the um, community advocate. Mm -hmm. So it's an even playing field for all men. As long as they're doing good and who they are, mm -hmm. they can be acknowledged on this platform. We want to make it a great platform, something they can remember, something that's top notch, a quality publication, a quality event, and quality places such as this wonderful PGA uh, National Resort and Spa, which recently just had a hundred million dollar renovation. Wow. So yeah, it's a very historic location. I mean, the room was packed, full of positivity. I mean, just some impactful stories, a beautiful event. Thank you. So I just want to know, do you have anything to say what's with, on What's Poppin' PBC in regards so why Palm Beach County is one of the best places to live, work, play, and salute the positivity that we have here. Well, because what's popping PBC <laughs> is we have so many business professions, so many people moving and shaking, creativities. We get the work done, but then we know how to play. We can go to the beach in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then get back. And actually, while we're on the beach, we still working and grinding, making things happen. So what's popping PBC is Palm Beach County is what's popping. What's popping PBC doesn't only highlight great places, but also great people. We'll see you next time on What's